Hi, my name is Karthik Rangappa. In this video, let's understand the physical settlement of stock options. In this video, let's talk about the physical settlement of stock options. Imagine that you buy a call option with a strike price of 100. Upon expiry, the underlying trades at 150. What do you think is your profit in this case? Well, clearly the profit is 50 rupees. Back in the days, stock options were settled in cash, meaning you didn't really have to buy the stock. Whatever is the difference between the spot and the strike, the difference would be directly cash settled to you. In the example that we just spoke about, the 50 rupee difference would be credited to the buyer's account by debiting the seller's account. And with that, the option was deemed settled. But recently, the rules of the game has changed. All stock derivative contracts are physically settled. In the previous video series, Pratik spoke about physical settlement of futures contract. In this video series, I will talk to you about physical settlement of stock options. The easiest way to understand physical settlement is to remember one thing. All in the money options, regardless of calls or put, are subjected to physical settlement. Physical settlement implies that you either give delivery of stocks or take delivery of stocks and this is purely dependent on the position that you have in the market. With options, there are only four kinds of positions that you can initiate. You can either be a long call option holder or you can be a short call options holder. With respect to the put options, you can either be a long put holder or a short put holder. If you have a long in the money call option, you have to take delivery of stock. If you have a long in the money put option, you have to give delivery of stock. If you have a short in the money call option, you have to give delivery of stock. If you have a short in the money put option, you have to take delivery of stock. Just to reiterate, it's only in the money options that are subjected to physical settlement. All out of the money and at the money option expire worthless. Let me give you an example. ONGC as of today is trading at 200. I will go ahead and buy 205 call option on ONGC. There are about 30 days to expiry. Let's assume on expiry, ONGC expires at 220. Now the 205 call option that I have is in the money, which gives me the right to buy ONGC at 205 when ONGC is trading at 220 in the open market. In this case, the seller is obligated to sell me ONGC at 205 and I have the right to buy ONGC at 205. This also means on the day of expiry, the option buyer, that is me, will have to have enough money in my trading account to buy ONGC at 205. Likewise, the option seller will have to ensure that there is ONGC stock in the DMAT account to give delivery. There are a few things that you need to remember with respect to physical settlement of options. If you have a stock option position which requires you to take delivery of the stock, then the margin requirement towards the end of the expiry increases. Make sure you have sufficient margins to cover for that. You can check with your broker to figure out what the delivery margins are and ensure you maintain so much margin in your trading account. Likewise, if you have an obligation to give stock, then ensure you have the necessary quantity of stocks in your DMAT account to fulfill the delivery obligation. As an outcome of physical settlement, if you've taken delivery of stock on the expiry day, then those stocks will hit your DMAT account on a T plus two basis. For example, the expiry is on the last Thursday of the month. Settlement for taking delivery on last Thursday will happen on T plus two. Therefore, you will get these stocks on Monday. Only stock options are physically settled. All index options are cash settled. Most brokers charge a physical delivery brokerage. Please do check with your broker to figure out how much the broker is charging you to facilitate physical delivery of stocks. Personally, I'm not a big fan of physical settlement. Therefore, I ensure that I exit all my option positions before expiry to avoid getting into the hassle of physical settlement. Finally, there is a concept of offsetting of positions. Let me explain that with an example. Assume that I have a long futures position on ONGC at 200. Assume I also have a long put position 
at 2.15. On the expiry day, ONGC expires at 2.10. What do you think is likely to happen in terms of settlement? On one hand, I have a long futures position which entitles me to take delivery of ONGC. On the other hand, I have a long put position which is in the money which entitles me to give delivery of ONGC. So therefore, on one hand, I have the obligation to take delivery. On the other hand, I have the obligation to give delivery. Both these put together, my net obligation is zero. This is a situation where there is an offsetting of positions. So whenever there is a situation where your positions all put together can offset one another, then there is no physical settlement. Whatever is the difference will be cash settled to you. I would encourage you to read this chapter on Varsity, where we've discussed a lot more about physical settlement of futures and options. Key takeaways from this video are 